Hey Antioch family, we are here with Ashley Lewis. She's going to be going to the Ukraine and Poland border here in just a couple weeks on an internship with Unbound. So we wanted to just take some time and hear her heart for why she's going, how God has been leading her through this process, and then even what it will look like when she gets back to Fort Collins at the end of the summer. Ready to jump in? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So Ashley, tell me how you got involved with Unbound. So I've actually been able to be on three missions that have worked with Unbound, once in Mongolia, Berlin, and Amsterdam. I went to Berlin to engage the crisis with Syrian refugees and with any kind of natural disaster or war that occurs, there's a huge influx of the possibility of trafficking. And so that was one of our like primary focuses in Berlin. Um, and something that happened there that sparked my, my passion and my dream for this, which God had been doing a lot more throughout the years and been faithful through that. But I, I was with a team there um, trying to get awareness out and we actually saw a woman that was being trafficked. Um, she was trying to find a safe place and someone actually had her paperwork, had kept it from her. Um, and so she was stuck and she was actually um, a victim in trafficking. Um, it actually became to be a like a very combative um, environment that we were able to intervene and help her um, become like a survivor, step out of that situation and actually get help. Um, and from that moment, it instantly sparked that this is happening all across the world and women are needing other women and other people to step up and be an advocate for them. Um, so you said that Fort Collins kept coming up uh, as you were looking to move, what what drew your attention to Fort Collins? Was it the fact that there's an Antioch here? Or what were some of those factors that put us on the map? Yeah. <laughs> One was an Antioch, but again, I didn't know there was an Antioch here. I I knew there would be a Christian like church that I could get plugged in. Um, my hope was in anywhere that I went, I did want to stay in the Antioch movement. Um, but I also opened it up to anywhere that God had and Fort Collins came into my mind. Um, I think maybe for the fourth time that I finally was like, okay, God, like, can we look and see if there's an Antioch there? Like, <laughs> should I just dive into this? Um, and at that point I found that there was an Antioch and, uh, got connected with the life group and instantly planned my trip. Uh, I think two weeks after that, wow. so it was a quick move, but I, I, there was just a spark instantly that I was like, okay, it is in the alignment of what I felt like God had said already, um, or a passion that I already have with Antioch that I wanted to continue. And I didn't know that there was a connection there, yeah. but <laughs> there was. So do, do you look at a map and like, like what, like specifically, what did that look like of actually here in Fort Collins? Uh, no, I never looked at a map. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I love Colorado. I have family in Denver. Um, growing up, I was like, it would be fun to live in Colorado someday. Um, but again, never been to Fort Collins. Uh, quite honestly, like it wasn't on my radar at all. Um, I would spend time with God and all of a sudden like Fort something would come into my mind, Fort Collins. I, yeah, it just happened. And I was like, why Fort Collins? What is this? And I, it, I mean, I always knew it was a place. Like it wasn't like I never heard of Fort Collins, but it was never on my radar. And then someone would actually mention how um, they knew someone from Fort Collins and then I would go to church and someone would say like I just came from Fort Collins And so it was just constantly placed in my pathway and I was like, okay, God, what are we doing here? And so I looked it up and found that there's an Antioch That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Man uh, Why are you passionate about the work of Unbound? I'm passionate about the work in Unbound one, because I know what it's like to be a vulnerable woman in a very dark world. And 
I know that what the enemy meant for evil, God has turned into good. And I now get to stand being on the other side of it, wanting to fight to help others. I, I also know the faithfulness of God. He has been pursuing my heart in, in this for a really long time. And some of the, the promises that he has said over my life and within the work of Unbound is that I get to be a voice for the voiceless. And I think in, in so many cases of human trafficking that people do feel like they're voiceless, that they can't get out of the system and they're stuck. And that's a lie of the enemy. And so I want to just step in and feed truth into that and know that they have a voice and people are willing to fight with them and along the side with them. What vision has God given you specifically for your trip to Ukraine? Mm. From the beginning of this year, like I said, I I believe that God has said the promises of being the voice for the voiceless. And to, um, there was a dream that I, I've heard over my life actually recently um, that it's as if I have a microphone that is connected and tethered right to God. And so it's like I get to stand in the midst of of the crowds and proclaim the goodness of what is coming from God and his heart for the people that are in a dark situation. I, as I was praying into this and going on this mission trip, I, I was reminded of the Good Samaritan. And I think in so many ways, it's easy to, as many did pass by and would ask the question of like, if I stop, what's going to happen to me? And I believe that God is turning that that question, just like in the story of the Good Samaritan, of what would happen to them if I don't stop? And I think that has been a whole shift in, in wanting to go. If God's asked this, then it's for them, and I can trust whatever He's going to do. Uh, tell us more about what your internship will look like. How long is it? Where will you mostly be? Maybe even what is the long-term goal for Unbound yeah. uh, with sending these smaller teams ahead? Yeah, that's good. So, uh, the internship will be of a duration of six weeks. We start in Poland for our training, which will be the 101, like education, prevention, and intervening for human trafficking. We will then go to local businesses, uh, police, and also working with the military to educate on these matters uh, so that they can actually trickle out and do the same thing that we're trying to do. Um, then we'll actually go all across the border into Ukraine where we'll help with immediate needs um, for the people there, whether that is um, education, paperwork, or helping them across into a safe space, um, or if there's a practical that they are needing um, for a better life while they're there. How do you think that your internship in Ukraine will help propel you to do something here in Fort Collins? I, I think it will be the start of something absolutely amazing. I, I know that I needed to be more educated um, and with people that have been more experienced within the movement. Um, never would I have imagined it to look like this, um, but that's just how God works. I, I will be working side by side with some of the most amazing um, leaders of Unbound um, in all different places of life um, and what they've done already. and. One, being able to work side by side with them and just hearing their stories and education um, and how they've propelled it in their state or city um, or country in that matter um, will be more information than I could dream of uh, in order to take what I've firsthand learned and also experienced over there in Ukraine and Poland to bring it here. Um, I think it will answer a lot of those question marks of like, how do we do this? Where do we go? Um, but rather like, I've experienced this. This is what we did. How about this? This is where we were. And I'm also going through multiple trainings, uh, one before I even hit the ground there. And then while we're there for the first week, we'll be training focused. So it is how to be an advocate in trauma. 
um, having different certifications and also training of like what human trafficking is um, and how to prevent it. Uh, how can we as Fort Collins, as individuals, how can we be praying for you? Hmm. I have a lot of practicals. Um, I also have a really bold prayer that I would love to have the body join me in. Um, I've prayed this twice in my life and fully meant it, and God has shown up. Um, I've prayed to have a broken heart for what breaks God's heart. And I would love that to be true still and going over there to truly being the hands and feet of what Jesus is doing, to bring light into the darkness. I also know um, in order to actually step into that full-heartedly, of like having the understanding of what God is um, really wanting to do there, I need to, to have a broken heart for what breaks his, that I am more stirred to step in because of all the feelings that God has with it. Yeah. And then other ways is uh, we are a body of a team. And so for us to be in a crisis and have hardships, um, we'll nef definitely need to be prayed over and have prayer for unity amongst the team. Um, for safety because it is still a war zone in what we're doing um as we're taking all the precautions as we can and trusting god um just being covered in that and another prayer request is that we get the financial need that we need in order to be there for the full duration that god has us there for yeah uh, so yeah, tell us more about your financial need and how we can help you with that. Yeah. So for our financial need, we are, each individual on the team is trying to raise 6,100. Um, that is not needed right before I leave um, so that this can be an ongoing thing. Um, part of that is for transportation, COVID testing, because we are still in that, um, and then housing and our flights is a huge, huge part of that. I didn't realize that it was a dream of mine to work with Unbound until an opportunity was there. And seeing the ways that God has been moving in my life, in the aspects that I have been able to do with Unbound, um, even this opportunity to go over the summer um, has just blown me out of the water. I. I didn't realize that this was a desire and a dream um, that I've had for ever. <laughs> um, and just all the ways that God has been pursuing that on my heart. And so coming here, I knew that I wanted to step into being an advocate, um, a voice for the voiceless, and um, yeah, just help bring awareness and a movement in that. And so my big vision for Unbound here in Fort Collins is to start that up, um, to bring awareness, to make moves. And honestly, education is going to be a huge part of that, of just bringing awareness to the fact that this is sadly the truth of the reality of life and, you know, uh, a fallen world that we live in. And so, being able to step into that in any dynamic is really exciting. And my big vision for Fort Collins is that this is going to be a pivotal place for people to feel safe, to be seen, to know the truth over their identity, and no longer wrapped into the lies and the darkness that the enemy says is theirs. Yeah, I'm excited for what God has for Antioch Fort Collins and Unbound. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> And I think it's really sweet, too, to hear how God has been leading you really intentionally, brought you here, is then instantly sending you out yeah. just to come back and start something. Absolutely. Um, it's really beautiful. Yeah, it is. I Honestly, I was very like surprised because I had moved here, and then such a 
quick turnaround to go. Um, but honestly, it was not something that I was searching for. It just opened up so many doors that one, I know that it's God because of the divine like timing and everything else. And then, like I mentioned, I couldn't have dreamed it to be any better than it is actually playing out to be. Yeah. Wow. Yeah.